on this issue um, yes. seem to tell a different story. Um, what we have is a request that you hand over the shares and you did not refuse. You agreed, but what you said was that um, there had to be some formality in terms of um, having a share transfer as advised by your lawyer. That's true. That there should be a share transfer, board should be set up and so on. And uh, then true. the government revoked your license. You did not refuse to hand over the shares. We didn't so refuse. That's what you did not refuse. We didn't refuse, but we wanted to do it on a proper way. But they never, they never do it, and they yeah. never, they never done the transfer. Okay. You did not, you did not refuse. That, that's the, the issue that concerns me. Why your private company? Why would you agree to hand over your shares? And we come back to the questions. Um, it just didn't make sense to me. Well, the answer for this, you know, at that time we don't have a choice. When you have an instruction to do something, we have to protect our investment. So better we give up something we don't want. Was was not something uh, you you have to choose to do it or not. This is an instruction. That's it. Um, during the period. <coughs> During the period that um, Gamiko had the license, Gamiko was under the lead, um, license expected to rehabilitate the environment using the sand tailings. Um, but the sand tailings were sold on the Gamiko's watch. They were taken away and sold. Which one? Um, the sand tailings. You know the sand tailings? The sand that, um, that is left after the heavy sand mineral um, the concentrate is removed. No, you have the white sand, which is a we ne Gamico never Gamico never sell white sand, never. So who sold the sand tailings when Gamico was in operation? We used uh, to answer to your question, ma'am. We one time I remember we bought twenty thousand cashew nut tree in Sanya. When we finished the mine in that area, we may, we make sure we have done the plantation on top of the white sand. Myself was there to witness that at that time. Okay. But after that, when other people take over, that was the time they start to sell the white sand. But during our time as Gamico, we never take not even one of the sands out or we sell the white sand. That's never happened during Gamico. We was sure that sun was being put in on the ground again. Um, I will, we will we'll provide you with the um, I'm afraid the time we're giving you for today is up. We will provide you with the information regarding the amount of sand that was taken out when Gamico was operating, um, in, had a license. Unless and, somebody... Um, if I may finish, and um, um, the areas that Gamico had, was mining from, um, had not been rehabilitated as well when Gamico left. Maybe, maybe what you say is correct about this, the, the cashew. But we'll give you the information so that you can avert your mind to it before you come back. Uh, Mr. Chairman, because <clears throat> we are breaking at one and we have another witness, we require Mr. Bazi to come back tomorrow at 10 o'clock. I have no on this issue. I guess you've noted that tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'd just like you to, you'll be coming tomorrow on Euro Africa as well so that you'll be prepared. Okay, All thank right. you. Thank you. Very well, you may go. Uh, so I, <clears throat> I call Mr. You may go till tomorrow. Okay. Yes. I was having some document, but I will leave it. I will bring it tomorrow. The one that they're stopping us from mining every time, start and on this so many times. But certainly, okay. certainly you can bring it tomorrow okay. if you want. I call Mr. Joguba.
Please sit down. Uh, Mr. Ba, <clears throat> the first time you gave evidence, we drew your attention to a cash withdrawal <clears throat> of 14,400,000, equivalent to um, 500,000 US dollars from the Carnegie Mineral account on the 9th of March 2011. I'll just show you exhibit CB2, which is the bank statement, so that you can look at it and remember. It's highlighted in yellow. And you said um, you needed to see the instructions in order for you to refresh your memory. Um, we have retrieved the, the, the file, which is PR stroke C stroke 501 stroke temp dot A stroke 1. That is referred to in that statement from the from the central bank, and would like to show you the letter that you wrote on the first March 2011. It was actually directed to the director of treasury, asking them to request the bank to pay 500,000 from the Carnegie mining account, and I'll show you the letter we retrieved. Okay. Kindly look at that letter. It's not yet in evidence and confirm whether that was your letter 